Assalamu alaikum my name is Muhammad Mehr and today we we will discuss about the signal p and how it's performed signal p is a process or bioinformatic tool which we use to predict signal peptides in our amino acid sequence so first of all we will discuss what is signal peptides signal peptides are mainly the 16 to 30 amino acid long sequence which is present at the start and terminus or uh, at the end of my uh, our protein like c terminus and its uh, its main function is to transfer the protein from one place to another in the cell so we will see the structure of our signal peptides first of all we have n region and h region and c and precursor then our protein is started the h region is hydrophobic in nature and it has a tendency to attract alpha helix sheets and c region has is uncharged region which has a tendency to attract our beta sheets and the positive region and negative region they give charge to the our signal peptides so now we will discuss how it's perform and first of all we will go to google and search signal p and open the first website after it's open it show the format like this and now we have we will search our protein sequence and i already have downloaded the protein sequence of sugarcane the bhlh family then we copy our sequence and paste it on our website and uh, must know that the sequence must be in fasta sequence fasta format and now we this is a eukaryote and a long out we need so we submit and wait for the result it will take time so wait now is keep a little bit as we can see that after some time we have our results and the results show that this value of signal p per second and if we have the value of 0.45 then we can say that our uh, protein sequence have signal peptides but this value shows that our the sequence we uploaded here have no signal peptide in it so that's a result and only we predict and now we save our image for research purpose or based on our thesis or anything where we can put it and save it that's it that's the end of my signal p predictions okay allah face